And if you're going to check on the interview of the son of Hamas, and she's be, he's being interviewed by uh, some media organization in the U.S., organizations in the U.S., and he said that he never thought that Hamas would, you know, would defeat Fatah. You know, the, the Fatah was like a political organization in the past, which was defeated by the most subversive and radical organization. So what happened is that the people, the people themselves, the, the so-called Palestinians, I'm not going to use the word Palestinians because there were no Palestinians in the past. They were created or manufactured people, all right? Um, to use the term created because, you know, that's a new term. I'm, I'm merely referring to the terminology or the word. So the, the so-called Palestinians or the people of that of that territory, Gaza, supported Hamas, which they know to be radical, which they knew to be to be more prone to terrorism. So basically, they supported them via their either vote or silence, because that's what happens if people support a dictatorship. You know, every citizen, which is part of a dictatorship, can be considered guilty for his or her silence, because if you don't if you don't want to be there, just go out, right? Because that's what happens to dictatorship, because with your vote, again, with your vote or silence, you support the dictatorship. And if the dictatorship declares war or wages war against a neighboring country, you will be part of the guilty party as well. And the other country, you know, the country that defends itself, will not have any obligation, would not have any obligation at all to take care of or to think of your safety. Israel's only responsibility, regardless of what other experts say, all right, so-called experts say, Israel's own responsibility is to protect its own people. And I don't buy that freaking freaking nonsense or BS, um, the so-called uh, proportion, proportionality theory, you know, that, that when Israel is going to retaliate, it needs to think of proportionality. What is proportionate? When, when, when for example, the terrorists from Gaza, the Hamas, raped and killed, there were some babies as well, but Let's not gonna argue about the number of babies killed by Hamas terrorists. Uh, the foreigners killed, killed as well. We already said eighteen Nepalese students, Thais, Filipinos were killed, and Germans as well. That lady, Shani Luke from Germany, she was a supporter of Palestinians. She was there. She was anti-war, but she was killed despite the fact that she was a supporter of the Palestinian people. Right? The terrorists will never ask you, do you support us or not? They will kill you as long as you're not a Muslim. Right? That's a fact. Okay. So, again, Israel does not have any obligation at all to protect the people of, of Hamas. And the fact that it even asked or advised or announced, you know, the people of Gaza to leave before, before sending rockets into that terrorist territory, that Israel is already responsible for doing that. You know, but it didn't have to do that, basically, because, again, it didn't have any responsibility to do that, regardless of the so-called proportionality theory supporters say, because that is moronic. That is, that is dangerous to the safety of the people of Israel. And, all right, so let's check um, on what Yupikole said as well after that. So they keep spreading stupidity so far. Um, and look at their post. Uh, so far, they stuck to posting local events after that very stupid post. So let's check on the other groups at UP. Okay, that's just one of them, basically. So, all right. Um, there's this person whom I suppose is either student of UP or an alumni. And uh, he posted this. So, again, this is my uh, account. Um, I said another moron because she was he was talking about um, colon, colonialism, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, because my, you know, I didn't mince words basically uh, when I said the M or describe them via the M word or stupid word. You know, I'm not mincing words because I'm describing how stupid you are basically when I use that word. Um, I said, LOL, another M. Uh, when was the Palestine state established again? Because he was basically talking about, yeah, um, Israel occupying Palestine, which is a lie, which is a propaganda. Did you know that Gaza was part of Egypt, which it lost to Israel after the Six-Day War? You useful idiots are all ignoramuses. So this is the problem with this so-called scholar ng bayan because they don't know anything about history, basically, when it comes to this. And they just keep spreading stupidity and relying on the fact that there's UP students, which is really, really sad and pathetic when you just feel or have the audacity to, to spread stupidity and be, be arrogant because you think that you're right because you're from UP. 
right? And that is so stupid because you should be ashamed that, you know, the people of this country, the taxpayers, the middle class, they are paying for your for your education and you should be ashamed to, to be that stupid, all right? So I say stupid because, you know, these things are pretty basic because there was no Palestinian state before 1967, before 1995, or before 1947, all right? Or even before the Ottoman Empire ruled that region more than a hundred years ago, basically. So the Ottoman Empire ruled that region, including many Arab states, despite being based in Turkey or in Istanbul, for example, which is in Europe, ironically in Europe, right? They ruled that piece of land, nearly half of, or even yeah, nearly half of the globe, sometime in the past, for 400 years, right? So, for example, the Spanish ruled this country, Philippines, for more than 300 years, but the Ottoman Empire ruled that part, including Gaza, including all states in that region. The UAE, Egypt, they also got Egypt sometime in the past, all right? Uh, Jordan, uh, what else? Um, Israel, did I say Israel already? Um, Lebanon, many parts of that region. Iraq, Iraq, um, but not Iran, um, for hundreds of years. And there was no Palestinian state. So basically, the so-called Palestinian state in the past were all Arabs, all right? And after the Ottoman Empire lost in World War I, the League of Nations gave a mandate to the Great Britain. You know, you, you need to fact check me on this because this is all part of history. This is all basic facts that I don't know that this so-called scholar non you know, did not get, in, you know, during their history classes in college or in high school because I somehow... Um, learn about this, all of these facts, when I was in high school, basically because I was a reader, a voracious reader, although I'm not a UB graduate, basically, I took communication arts, but being a communication arts made me more interested in history, especially that I became a news writer for one of the biggest online newspapers in the United States, so I had to be very interested in history, I had to, because that's part of my, of my job as a freelance writer, but I don't know about this UB student that they just didn't want to learn more about history, right? About philosophy for some reason. But yeah, after after the Great Britain got the mandate to establish a nation um, via the Balfour Declaration, and after that, it surrendered that authority to the United Nations, and the United Nations created the state of Israel, I think in 1947, if I'm not mistaken. So in the late 1940s. And after that, the Arab states, there was still no so-called Palestine because, you know, technically the, the word Palestine or Philistine is a geographic term. It refers to the people of a particular region regardless of their religion, right? So it's just like, for example, in one particular region in, in the Philippines, the Cebuanos or the Ilocanos. That's how, that's how, you know, the term Palestine was, Philistine was used. And it should, should, it should it, we should, you know, have that kind of connotation as well of the term regardless of how history has changed over the past few years, right? So, yeah, it's a geographic term. It, it, it does not refer to any people of some religion. Like, the way they use Palestine today is like, it's all Muslim. It's all Muslim. If you're a Palestinian, you're a Muslim. And you're anti-Jew and oh, blah, blah, blah. But the word Philistine before referred to many ethnic groups, regardless of their religion, right? Including Jews as well. So, so, Going back to this, I said, um, and he said, where did you get your info? Uh, I'm basically arguing with this Wilder, children, pro Wil uh, Wilder, Wilder Child in Progress. That's his account name. Where did you get your info? Egypt lost the war in parts of Palestine, fell to Israel, but not West Bank and Gaza. What the fuck? What a stupid thing to say. Uh, let's just, because it's really hard to... <laughs> to Understand what he said. Egypt lost the war and parts of Palestine. Part of Pal Palestine? Which part of Palestine are, is it talking about? Because there was a Palestine. Because, you know, this is how stupid these people are. They really think that a Palestine state existed in the past. It's like, it's as if, you know, a state of, for example, Egypt existed. And they thought that another state called Palestine ex existed as well alongside Egypt during that time which is a lie, which is a propaganda, which describes how stupid some of these UP students are. 